Well, we got to tell you about a log cabin controversy now. The city of Detroit is facing backlash for tearing down a historic house that some had hoped to relocate. The home once stood on Halleck Street near I-75 and may have been built before the Civil War. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans is live there tonight with what the Land Bank is saying about their decision to bring this home down. Jen? Well, Carolyn, that log cabin, which was covered under an exterior of a more modern looking home, was demolished late last month, and this pit to my right is all that's left of it now. The land bank says it really wasn't given enough time to save the structure, which a contracting company had already made plans to demolish. I did come on a Wednesday and the building was here and when I came back on Saturday morning, it was gone. Greg Kowalski with the Hamtramck Historical Museum fought to get this home off the Detroit Land Bank's demo list. During a Wayne State dig last year, archaeologists found evidence that the structure, originally a log cabin, was likely built in the 1870s. Last month, it was torn down. This one could have been preserved. All they had to do was remove it from that list, even temporarily. According to the Land Bank, which aims to rid the city of dilapidated structures, $10,000 of taxpayer money had already gone into the home's demolition process. Too much taxpayer money has been spent for us to pull something off the list after it's been contracted for demolition. Kowalski wanted the cabin moved to Hamtramck because at the time of its construction, Halleck Street was in Hamtramck Township. He submitted a proposal to the land bank, but it was too late. Sorry that it happened. Carolyn Shepard grew up across the street. The first room real small, the next room real long. So you had been inside that house? Oh yeah, I used to go over there as a kid. She didn't know at the time the hidden history of the home's walls. Detroit has got a long reputation for destroying its history. For Kowalski, this was a missed opportunity, one he hopes everyone can learn from. I've been over here 65 years. There could be another one somewhere around here. Now, Kowalski says other than some salvaged wallpaper and wood, there's really nothing left of that log cabin. Now, the Detroit Land Bank Authority does have a list of all properties they plan to demolish, and they say if you think any of those properties could have some historic significance, they want to hear from you. You're urged to report that to them as soon as you can. Reporting live in Detroit's east side tonight, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Hopefully people will listen and do just that. Thank you so much, Jen, for the live report.